Hello students, I am soft skills trainer from Department of Career Planning and Development, Chandigarh University. So today we will be covering a topic called closed test. So what is actually closed test is you will be given paragraph but some words will be taken out from that particular paragraph and then those words will be presented to you in some form of questions with some options. You need to find out which word was missing. Sounds simple? It is actually. So how to go about this particular test is first thing first that you need to brush up your grammar rules. Second thing is if you are a daily reader that means you are actually reading newspaper or some books on a daily basis you will find it really easy to complete this test and mark all the answers correctly. So let's start this particular test. We'll directly go in and practice two passages that will give you some insight as to how to go about this particular test. Okay, let's start. So, the, uh, so in the following slides, a passage will be given to you. In the passage, some words have been left out. Read the passage carefully and select the correct answer for the green and black. Out of the four alternatives, Sounds simple again it is simple so the thing is you can attempt those uh, questions with me or you can either stop and take your time and then you know guess the correct answer and then you can move forward so this is the first particular passage now there are two approaches to attempt any closed test number one either you can read the entire passage in one go or you can solve the questions as they are coming that means one by one that totally depends upon you and at times on the passage as well at times you need to read the entire passage because the thing is you need to really understand the essence or the theme of the passage because sometimes questions are really hard and without you being able to understand the theme of the passage you will not be able to answer those questions okay let's start this particular passage now dash to a simple yoga technique in the morning such as an energizing sun salutation or cat cow pose can make up the whole mind body element it thus builds focus for the rest of the day and leaves you feeling dash and ready it also dash awareness while doing so this is a dash that works backwards you tend to sleep earlier as you are mindful of waking up early for the yoga class so bedtime gets a higher priority in your life. Early morning yoga calms you down for the rest of the day by setting a steady tone. The breathing patterns are carried into the day, leaving you dash and relaxed. So by reading this particular entire passage, now we can guess that actually it is talking about yoga and somehow some benefits regarding yoga. So somehow we'll be facing some questions that is related to those things to those to that theme so the first question is dash to a simple yoga technique that means following adhering going after superseding so what's the best fit is it's adhering option number two adhering adhering means kind of to come regularly follow it okay we are not using the word following we are actually adhering because we adhere to some techniques okay Second question is, leaves you feeling dash and ready, refurbished, restituted, updated, rejuvenated. The best fit for this particular answer is rejuvenated. Rejuvenated means that you are somehow refreshed again. Okay. Question number three. Question number three is, it also dash awareness, wounds, facilitates, speeds up, enhances. So if you read this particular line again, it also dash awareness while doing so it also enhances awareness while doing so the correct answer is awareness this is dash that works backward this is shortcut him melody mantra now it's a very simple one uh, this should be mantra the correct choice is mantra leaving you dash and relax so just read this completely uh, complete line the breathing pattern are carried into the day the breathing patterns that actually you have enjoyed uh, is carried into the day leaving you dash and relax that means you'll be uh, you need to fill this particular blank with a word that is somehow related to relaxation that's why the word and is used between them so feeling at ease should be the correct answer yes it is so this is the first paragraph that we have done now moving on to the second paragraph it's, it will also be quite simple okay just give it a thorough read 
What does victim centric mean in the criminal justice system? It means restoring the confidence of victims in the system and achieving the dash of justice in whichever sense the idea is conceived. Now it's a full stop. It's a full stop, okay? Dash this end, the system must confer certain rights on the victims to enable them to dash in the proceedings, including the right to be impleded and to engage and advocate in serious offenses. The right to track the progress of dash, the right to be heard on critical issues and to assist the court in the dash of truth. So after reading this particular passage, we can uh, somehow uh, see that the read the theme of this particular passage is related to justice system and also the rights of uh, you know victims. So let's start with the questions. Okay, so achieving the dash of justice is in whichever sense the idea is conceived. So it means uh, restoring the confidence of victims in the system and achieving the dash purpose, agenda, plan and goal. I would say it should be goal. The goal is uh, the right answer, the goal of justice. Okay. Moving on to the question number seven, dash this end. So now it's a full stop. Now you need to start. So toward this end, for this end, near this end, forward this end. So I, uh, in my viewpoint, toward should be the right answer. Yes, it is. The right answer is towards. We cannot use the word for, near and forward. Near and forward are absolutely, you know, eliminated. But for for, at times you might get confused. But towards, toward this end, okay, this is the right way to eighth okay mm. victim to enable them to dash in the proceedings uh, it's a simple one uh, it should be participate yes to participate in the proceedings including the right to be completed and to engage and advocate in serious offense the right to track the progress of okay okay, okay. that's a simple one next is uh, the right to track the progress of dash now uh, this can be confusing a case the ruling the proceeding the process so uh, the right to track the progress of so the correct answer should be the proceedings okay yes the correct answer is the proceeding so why it is not the ruling the process the case it's not a process number one mm, ruling uh, ruling comes in the end you cannot track that yes you can uh, uh, say that uh, a case sh should have been there but actually we uh, in the whole uh, in, in this particular paragraph we are actually talking about the proceedings only we are not talking about the case okay so the right to track the progress of the proceedings is actually when a case is going on we actually say that the proceedings are going on for that particular case so that's why we are actually using the word proceeding and for this particular uh, sentence okay the last is in the uh, sorry okay <laughs> number nine okay the right to be heard on critical issues and to assist the court in the dash of truth it's simple persuans persuade 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 is the right answer the right form actually these are all ready to persuade but the uh, uh, right way of writing the the right form is your persuade so I hope you understood how to attempt these uh, such questions. Again, uh, topics like articles, topics like preposition, conjunctions, uh, they and also your modals and uh, phrases, they do play an important role. If you want to uh, make sure that whatever answer you are marking is correct. So for, uh, you know, uh, attempting such questions, attempting closed test, you need to practice again and again. Uh, one such advice that I want to give you is that you please read daily. Or if you are able to read uh, some editorials on a daily basis, it will definitely enhance your reading ability. When you read a lot, somehow you get, you develop that sense. Uh, that is uh, that that should be there in your uh, in, in you if you want to make sure that without putting uh, you know hard efforts uh, you correct those questions okay thank you for your time thank you